My friend wanted me to play Mega Man 10, so that's what I'm doing. But we're just gonna be playing as good old Mega Man. I'm feeling sheep, man. I don't remember how to fight this boss with just the buster, but... I remember liking the gimmick. In fact, I think this might be, like, one of my favorite s stages of... My favorite stage in Mega Man 10 in general. Time for this annoying mini boss. Can be doing a full playthrough, but I'll, I'll definitely at least be the main eight bosses. Because if I remember correctly, I remember the Wily stages of Mega Man 10 being really fucking brutal. Like, honestly, a little too brutal. Where's the checkpoint safe take me back here? make it save here. I don't feel like spending all day here if I die again. Oh. 
out, I could have gotten the W can. <sighs> yeah, we're just gonna load it. Because it's gonna be... Does it not... What the fuck's the point of saving it, then? What's the point of a save state if it doesn't save your state? Why make a save state system and then make it effectively do nothing but send you back to the checkpoint? Okay, I think I can get the W tank this time, though. I fucked myself. Don't be doing cloud phase again. Okay, we sh I should be good now. Okay, one more. I can do one more.
All right, what do I have? What can I buy at the shop? I got a shitload of nuts. Also, I'm just gonna be exclusively buying E tanks. If I'm ever low at lives, I'm just gonna be save scumming. So, yeah. I am a coward. Never let that not be known. Well, I'm a coward whenever it comes to Mega Man games. Whenever it comes to, like, X or Zero games, if I die, I die. But here, I don't know. It feels a little punishing. Like, for how hand-holdy the save assist is in, in the Zero collection... It's insane that in the the MMLC that the 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 save states don't even save your state. They just run a checkpoint with your current health. I'm just gonna take the bottom path. I always die four times taking the top path, no matter what. Just, just turboing through those guys. I won't be abusing the turbo button, but those enemies always just have an obscene amount of health. Frankly, they have way too much health. Alright, and into the stage. I'm pretty sure those enemies are supposed to be more stage hazards than enemy, but still. Needing to use two shots, tilt two full charge shots to kill one is a little ridiculous. Okay, I was sitting weird and my thigh was cramping. Or my calf, not my thigh. Whenever I go hard into mashing, I always tighten up my calves and it always ends with disastrous results. Also, note that I would be playing base right now, but I accidentally deleted my entire save file a while back. Like, my entire MMLC2 save file 
because I turned the game to Japanese to play Mega Man 8, because, like, as hilarious as the dub is, I didn't feel like listening to it. So I swapped it to Japanese, and I think I got to, like, Sword Man, or not Sword Man, that's a different robot master. I think it was, uh, I can't even remember the, the name. It's the one temple level. I think I got there, and I rage quit a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I, got, I lost my cool a little bit there. Mostly because that level is a sack of shit, on, honestly. No, 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 no shade to any Mega Man 8 fans. I am just not a Mega Man 8 fan. Holy shit. This destroys these so fast. I'm gonna need to remember that next playthrough. That is actually super useful. I, I, I mean, I've never even done that before. I just thought that... <laughs> Hey, this has a million projectiles. That'd probably kill him quick. room. Well, like, se second to last, or last ladder section. I don't know why I said second to last room, because that is not the second to last room. This, however, is the second to last room. Not the second to last room. No, that. This. Yes, it was. We're just gonna be. We'll use one of my 5e tanks. Oh. Used all of the boss's weakness during the main level, so I guess I'll just buster it. I don't like this boss. This boss just seems needlessly complicated to fight. be bustering this dude because he's a dickhead. Go fuck yourself, Solar Man. Your boss fights shit.
Good thing your weapon's pretty decent. Okay, so... What would be the next thing? Chillman? Probably. Now, this level sort of reminds me of Gemini Man's level. Well, not his level, but like, the starting area. Speaking of Mega Man 3, doesn't Mega Man 3 just have some wild-ass lore? Like, doesn't every single Robot Master in Mega Man 3 take place on, like, the separate planets or something like that. Okay, I thought so. I don't think Rush... Bop... Oh, he does. too much. <laughs> it does split a power on it and does hella damage. Ice physics screwed me. I know I, w I know I was safe, but the fucking ice physics screwed me there. When do you get rush jet in this game? I could not tell you. Because I know Proto Man starts with Proto Jet at the beginning of the game, but that's Proto Man, not Mega Man. That was not the weapon I wanted, but it worked. I wish Bubble Shield was better. Because this weapon is cool, but... It kind of, it kind of peaks out early for my tastes. I probably won't need the, his weakness. I know Chillman's not too hard of a boss fight.
I, I, I lost track of the pattern at there, but I worked out. It helps his ice steals only like a pixel of, or a pip of damage. That's 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 hella nice. Better than Solar Man, at least. I get what they're going. I get what NT was going for, but Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, there's Rush Jet. pick up some more E-Tanks. And I don't think I want anything else. Okay. So I don't know what bosses are weak to what at this point. I think it's Nitro Man is weak to Chill Man Spikes. And then I don't know from there. Maybe Nitro Man, Blade Man, Strike Man, Commando Man? I mean, it's worth a shot. Unless you're supposed to use the Chill Spike, which is that is its name, right? Yeah. Unless you're supposed to use that on, on, uh, I could not tell you his name. I know it's not Ball Man, but I cannot remember what it actually is. Okay, I'm probably... You need to jump to the left to jump into him. I know this level is like, in specific, is like really cool for, to play as for base, because you can just speed through it. Thank you, Shock Buffer. We'll just tank the truck and use an E-Tank. Because my coward ass... It, it, the game didn't want to let me out of the pause menu. I guess I am getting that health. Alright, the threat here is Crush Death, really. Because if I remember going headfirst into a wall with one of these trucks, it just kills you. Did a crush damage. that W tank. So... I mean, that's probably not the way you should do it, but it got the job done. Let me pull out my fastest mashing. And let me pull out a second E-Tank. I 
If I remember, Nitro Man is just a basic boss where you just go... Or you, sm or you just smack him and then he runs into you. And you jump over him. Oh yeah, and then he throws metal blades. Or his cheap imitation metal blades. Nothing can be as good as a metal blade. Oh, am I gonna die? There's a decent chance. I knew it. I knew those were gonna kill me. I forgot to use the E-Tank. No, I forgot to save after using the E-Tank. That's what I forgot to do. Alright, let's see if I remember. Is it Chill Spike? It was Chill Spike. Now, let, let, let's see if my hypothesis words. My hypothesis. I can't say that word. Hypothesized. Hypothesized boss or. I'm gonna stop talking. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not Blade Man next. That, and I know his level is a son of a bitch. So... I guess Commando Man I can try. I know this level's a pain in the ass, but I'll try it anyway. Just your average Mega Man Sand sinking level. Come on, open up. Did it? Did it drop a one-up? Was that that ping? Y you know, I don't know if I've ever actually taken the bottom route. It's, it's probably easier, but slower. I tried to slide. I, I get why they separated Mega Man and Proto Man by how they did, but... I'm not gonna lie... Sliding is way more useful. When you're actively thinking about that you can't use it. Okay, there's the checkpoint. They thought they had to bring back the big fuckers from Mega Man 1. Okay, where does... How far will Rush Jet get me?
Okay. Is there a lore reason why Mega Man bursts into spikes? Bursts... or er, dies instantly to spikes? Because I know gameplay reasons, that's just how it works, but... Come on, Matt. I probably didn't need to use Rush Jet there, but... Better safe than sorry. tank, but this boss is pretty simple. In fact, aside from Solar Man, I'd easily play a Buster Only run of this game. But fucking Solar Man. That fucking. That fucking. That, that dickhead. That, that fucking. That asshole. That son of a bitch! <laughs> Okay, let's buy seven more E-Tanks. Oh, I don't have enough for seven more E-Tanks. Oh, I have four E-Tanks. That's more than enough. For two levels. Alright, this level has my favorite track in the game, but it's probably my least favorite level overall. I like this gimmick, I just don't know like, what it devolves into. Because if I remember correctly, at the end of the level, it just starts becoming hyper obnoxious. Like, just way more obnoxious than I am willing to deal with. I took way more damage than necessary, but whatever. I forgot that this level also had bullshit staircase rooms. 
my least favorite Mega Man trope. I thought I collected it. Here's where I really don't care for the gimmick. I forgot that level was also fucking eight seconds long. Enough for probably one of my least favorite fights in Mega Man 10, or not least. Uh, okay, let me let me gather my words. I didn't need a knee tank. I'm thinking of the next boss. I really don't like fucking Ball Man. I did. I I did not remember liking fucking Blade Man as much as I did. That that was actually a really fun fight. If I remember correctly, I think the reason I didn't really care for it is because that fight's like a bit of a nightmare as base. Because you can't... You don't have the mobility of Mega Man, so you have to just fumble around fucking dashing to get into the right specific areas. this song too cuz I don't know why I like this song this song is just good can't you just okay I clearly thought of the wrong thing bombs are how you do that. I swear I've seen something where you can use thunder wool and just absolutely shred that boss.
How do you unlock base again? Isn't it just beating the game as Mega Man? Okay, I did not spawn him high enough. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, I'm just gonna... Use an E-Tank here. Because I really do not care for the this mini-boss. For these mini-bosses. Yeah, I'm... I'm just gonna be using... I'll just use Turbo Mode. Fuck it. I hate whoever designed these mini-bosses. They aren't good. <laughs> I like this game more than I don't, but fuck is it not great in some areas. Like seriously, these mini-bosses fucking suck. I hate them so much. We will live in a much better world without them. Like, I always get hyped to play M Mega Man 10, and then I get to this level, and the hype is instantly gone. Because this level kind of blows. Okay, it is possible to make. Okay, how many lives do we have? Two. That's enough to burn if I die on this boss. Which I'm probably gonna. I hate this boss, too. I hate Strike Man. Did I back myself into a corner there? Yes. Do I still hate this boss? Also, yes.
Okay, is that all of them? Am I free from playing Mega Man 10 at the moment? Okay, that's also that, that fight was not as bad as I remember. I'm pretty sure that's just a fight I hate because it's also shit as when you play as base. Damn. Mega Man just sneezed. And I will do the Dr. Wily stages some other day. Because, okay, other than Solar Man, I actually have been enjoying my time. I might have said I hated some things a bit more than necessary, but I, I relatively enjoyed everything here except for Solar Man. He can go suck an egg. And those mini bosses in Strike Man stage. They, they too can go suck an egg. However, I'm going to stop here because the Wily stages fucking suck ass to do. <laughs> they are fucking brutal. NT Creates did not hold out. Like, the stages themselves are pretty well fine, but it's the fucking bosses. Like, they are freaking brutal. They, they did not hold back, especially on the first the first Wily stage mini bosses where you get all the freaking Mega Man 1 to 8 1 to 9 bosses and you just have to figure out what the machine's doing with the boss patterns on the fly like that's a cool boss I hate fighting it though cuz it just takes I just do not care for it it is it, it, it's brutal I'll, I'll I will come back and do that buster only another time and then I'll do the boss rush. Probably not Buster only, because boss rushes suck. I, I feel like the point of the boss rushes was to just flex that you have all the weaknesses to them originally. And a pad game time, because the fucking NES game, of course it's going to pad game time, but... Alright. Fuck you, Solar Man, I'm out.